Hello, everyone. So everybody is talking about anti-Semitism, and for good reason. In today's press release, you will see a statement um, by one of our uh, clients. He's been a client for several years, but when he first started in the military, we weren't around, and he didn't even know about us. Please read it. It's 60 or 75 seconds, and it's absolutely worth it to read it. Today's statement by me will start and end with anti-Semitism. But I can tell you that what uh, this um, gentleman went through uh, is just horrible. My kids went through it at the Air Force Academy. I went through it. But here at the Military Religious Freedom Foundation, the enemy is Christian nationalism and Christian nationalists. And it's not just anti-Semitism that is a subset of that uh, horrendous um, concept, which you can read about in Project 2025, which is to um, um, the Republican former President Trump. Uh, it's for his version of Mein Kampf, what used, but as Mein Kampf was to Hitler. The subsets that also exist besides virulent anti-Semitism is virulent hatred of women, misogyny, transphobia, homophobia, Islamophobia. It all comes out of Christian nationalism, and that's what we're fighting. And it's important to remember why we're here. And as I said, you know, before, I believe, we have over 88,000 clients. About 95% of them are actually Christians that are being equally oppressed for not being Christian enough. Kind of the uh, father, the most well-respected chronicler of the Holocaust was the late Elie Wiesel. I was honored a few years, a number of years ago when he called me, he was a professor at Boston University. We spoke on the phone and he gave his full-throated support to what we were doing here at MRFF. And he asked me an important question. He said, Mikey, what is the definition of anti-Semitism? And I gave him two or three definitions, all of which involved hatred, bigotry and prejudice towards Jews. And he said, no, that's not what it is. He said, my definition is Jewish inaction in the face of oppression. And he made an emphasis of saying any oppression. Again, it took me a few years to understand it. Think about it. Please read the statement from today's client. And thank you for the support as we fight Christian nationalism in America and all over the world. Thank you. Like the video, subscribe, and ring the bell. The Military Religious Freedom Foundation.